Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the stream. I'm Robert from the El Magnifico Games channel and today we are continuing our playthrough of Quern. Uh, so we were playing it just yesterday, I uh, therefore will forgo a long recap of what we've done and where we've been but uh, we were kidnapped, it seems, and sent to this island. We are solving puzzles that have been placed there on the behalf of, or on the part of Professor William Maythorn. Uh, we've learnt some interesting things. Apparently, time doesn't exist here, for some definition of time. Certainly, things don't appear to age, and that there is some native individual who appears as a sphere of light that seems to disapprove of what Professor Mayfawn has been up to and currently I'm not entirely sure what we're trying to do at this point um, in so much as the story would have it that we're trying to or at least the letters that we've received from Professor Mayfawn would have it that we're trying to follow in his footsteps but I'm not entirely sure that's true necessarily so, let's get into it. Now, I believe... Oops, wrong button. I believe we... Yes, we know what the shape that we're trying to create. Uh, right, so... It's a, a full-length line at the top to the middle full length line from the 45 degree mark to the middle then it's a half length line from the inside 
full length, half length line from the outside, full length, half length inside, half length outside. Uh, and these are the only parts we have to do that with. Right. I seem to remember we determined before that due to the shape of the outermost lens, uh, we knew that it couldn't possibly be part of the solution. Ooh, where do I have this in my notes? There it is. So, I'm trying to remember, what was the problem before? Oops. Uh... So we'd got that far. What was wrong with that? We're missing a half length line there and a full length line there. I think that's the only things that are incorrect. Right, this piece probably is in the right position. Not definitely. We may review that later, but it is contributing to the final shape in an ideal fashion. That is to say, every shape that it contributes is in exactly the position and size it's supposed to be. So what about this one? Ah, this one is doubling up a lot with this one in a way which isn't particularly useful. Although I don't see a way around that looking at the shape of it. Due to the two half length lines there. Yeah, I think that's the only position it can be in, unfortunately. So is this line in the wrong position? This uh, lens, sorry. Looks reasonable enough. What if I turned it round? Oops, wrong one. What if I turned it around by 90 degrees? No, slightly more than 90 degrees, I think. No, I don't think that works, because it's two full-length lines, isn't it? I think there's only one position this could be in. And that is the position it was in. What's wrong with this one? If I had to improve it from here, I'd need a full length line there, a half length one there, and a half length one there. I'm just noticing we don't have many half lengths from the outside, do we? Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps this lens is used. Why did I think that it couldn't be used? Oh, because of the two full length lines. There's not many positions that could be. In fact, there's only one position that could be. that which admittedly is compatible with the shape we're trying to create so I was wrong at least um, to that extent Right, what are we looking for, still? 
Half length line there, half length line there. I'm wondering if we need more lenses. In fact, let's try and solve this in parts, shall we? That would seem the a straightforward way. Let's start from the half length um, pieces on the outside and work our way in. So. This lens isn't helpful. The reason it isn't helpful is due to the shape we're trying to create. There's only two half length lines on the outside. And they're 135 degrees apart. And that's only 90 degrees apart, so... And the other problem is, the only two full length lines that... Uh, ...are 45 degrees apart... ...are these two here. So it doesn't actually contribute to the... ...the outside half lines. This one only has one outside half line. Again, due to the due to this having two full length lines that are at 90 degrees, there's only one position it could possibly be in, and that's the one it is in. Uh And we have no other half lines from the outside. So I think that proves it. I think we do need to find some more lenses. I don't think there is a solution with that which we already have. Uh, so yeah, it ultimately comes down to this lens and this lens. These two being the only two lenses which uh, have half lines on the outside. And due to the full lines that they do contain and they're the relative angle. They have to be in exactly one position um, each, respectively, and that one position doesn't give us all the half lines on the outside we're looking for. So, as I say, that, that settles it. We are looking for additional lenses, it would seem. What does that do? Don't know. Uh, what was the contents of the last letter we received? Those couple hundred years have passed quickly. I managed to master the use of all the natural resources, including all kinds of metals and all the minerals this island had to offer. After I developed the new energy source, the pure white energy crystal, I thought that by harnessing the power of my new invention, I was capable of anything. I felt like a god. Those were the golden ages of my presence here. At that point, she tried to convince me again to leave. Naturally, I did not listen. She clearly could not understand the complexity and the importance of my work here. The great power I wish to acquire here could change the lives of thousands, if not millions of people. Right, that was interesting from a law point of view, but um, but doesn't help us solve the puzzle at hand. We never did figure out what this was telling us, was it? I'm not entirely convinced those are lenses. Those look almost like the relays that you can signal. Ow. 
Ah, hence the wires coming out of them. And there was the relay, where was it? I think it's actually on the other side of that wall that we signalled and then it gave us, this appeared. I reckon that's what's being depicted here, which is stage three. So I wonder if that's indicating that there's two more I should be able to find. If that's the case, then what is the significance of these numbers here? 70, 347 and 248. I do note that they would all... They're all within range to be angles. Um, hold on. So I think the relay we looked at was through here. Over here-ish. That's... What, about 120 degrees? So that doesn't figure. Okay. That doesn't work. I was just wondering if the relays we're looking for were actually spread about on the outside... Well, in a fairly close proximity and in a circle about this building, but I'm not so convinced about that now. Uh, I would suggest, then, that our first priority should be... Uh, giving the map another quick explore, looking for more of these relay stations, as I'm calling them for now. These things. Uh, that's where we found the solution. Okay, the wires seem to start here and terminate here. They don't seem to go off anywhere else, so it's not like I can follow them to find where the next relay station is. Hold on, I know what I should have done there. While I was standing on the exact spot where it was, I should have double checked the angle. Yes, it looks like I was more or less right about the angle. I think I was slightly off, but... That's certainly not 240 degrees, unless the... Oh, the point of reference could be there, couldn't it? Because about this far would be 180. It's a bit hard to believe that's as far as 240, but I suppose that's possible. Well, there was one that was supposed to be at about 70 degrees, wasn't there? So um, that's obviously less than 90 degrees. And this is this point, the entrance. Oh, that's the wrong tower, isn't it? This is the tower. Yeah, that doesn't work. Never mind. Just go back to plan A, which is wander about keeping a a lookout. For any of those relays. Just requires me to be observant. Which, uh, up till now hasn't been my forte, has it? Uh, right, nothing so far. Ah, was this the area we only recently gained access to? No. I know where we are. This goes around to the watchtower, doesn't it? Thank you. 
some more of those ropes which have no apparent purpose. Ah, this was the way to the area we only recently gained access to. We never did figure out what that was telling us, did we? I'm guessing I did make a note of it though. Let's check. Yes. No obvious way through here. What is so bright? Oh, I think it was just the bloom. Interesting. Somehow I missed all of the lenses here before. They're mirrors, aren't they, I think? Yes, they're mirrors. That must just be the visual effect they used for solving one of the earlier puzzles, I would guess. Hmm, that's very blue. But you can see the ground, and then it turns greyish. And it turns actually really quite a deep blue. Hmm. Anyway. Hmm. Double check the position here on the map. Yeah. Hold on. Could there have been a relay in the starting area? Because I absolutely would not have recognised what that was at the time. No. I take it this isn't activated by the... No, not activated by the white torch. Nope, no evidence of relays. here sadly hmm is there anywhere we haven't been let's see so this is the main square where we are now We've been to the alchemy lab and the gardens and all that. We've been down to the north shore because that's, I believe, where all the blacksmithing stuff is. We've been to the crystal lab. We've been to the watchtower. We went to the swamp isles. We've been in the cave. I think that's everywhere. Hmm. I just had a thought. Do we know where that's shining a light onto? I think it's shining a light onto the crystal lab. Yes, I think that's supposed to be the light. Although apparently once we get close it stops. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, 
Uh, the key is what we're ultimately after, isn't it? I say ultimately after. That's the thing we've been pursuing for most of the game up until now. It's not entirely clear how this would open. Hmm, I probably need some component that I don't currently have. Yes, that's definitely the crystal lab it's pointing at. So I seventy I I three four seven and I I I two four eight. It's odd that they are in the right range to be angles. Doesn't mean they are, but they are in the right range to be angles. But they're very specific to the degree. Which isn't the way most of the components we've been manipulating, those that can be rotated, have worked in this game up till now. Usually, at most, we have 45 degrees of precision. Take it, I'm not missing something I can do here. I can't remove the lens. Doesn't look like it. I feel like this is the clue and it's probably telling me that I need to uh, use the, what's it called, the signaler, I've forgotten what it's actually called, this, how do they call it, a torch maybe? Some kind of remote controller, the colour and shape of its head looks familiar. Indeed. I imagine I'm supposed to use the... Do they call it a remote controller? Yeah. I suppose I'm supposed to use the remote controller to get the rest of the lenses. But we did have a fairly good look just now. I forgot this had changed. I was thinking how strange it was that I could walk up there. But this just takes us to the swamp piles, or at least in that direction. That could be the tower we were just in, potentially. Let's see, this tower has a distinctly hemispherical top. Oh, it does, but it's nowhere near tall enough. It does occur to me that there could be relays up here.
but I don't have a means to get up there at present. Uh, I'm not sure we checked in here. Oh goodness. I didn't realise or remember one or the other that that door got blown off when we extracted the white torch. the remote control of the lenses? No. Hmm. Oh, apparently I can... This is another way I can save the game at will. By just signalling that relay. Perhaps that is the only relay of that kind we've encountered up till now. Hmm... Well, that looks like one of the little relays that accepts the signal. Hello, Pengi. It's lovely to see you. How are you today? But what's the thing that's connected to it? Definitely not here. It really does seem like I should have access to more relays, doesn't it? But unless they're in an area I haven't explored yet. Then I haven't the foggiest where they are. We've been through all of here before. Let's go for our inventory once more in more detail. So that's for turning a crystal into a torch, like with the heat stone. We have a metal beaker for concoctions a recipe, the white staff, the blue staff, a spoon, equipment for collecting berries and flowers, a test tube, the remote controller, a pot, a goblet. That's, an, that's a thought. Is it possible there's areas that have been painted over that I can't see. Yes, I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. Does that accept a signal? No.
I never did find out what this did, did I? Maybe once we've... Got the telescope in working order. This is used for rotating the telescope and the opening. No sign of anything being painted over here. Oh, I see those mirrors and those lenses. That's all in an effort to get light beams to converge on the telescope. Hold on, can I keep pulling it up? No. Uh, so my conclusion so far, Pengi, is that this isn't, this puzzle isn't solvable without additional lenses. I've looked at the positioning of the various lines. And I'm fairly certain... Additional lenses are required, but I've no idea how to acquire those. What I've noticed is that there's these pieces of paper on the wall here, and I think that's showing the the receivers for the remote controller. And I notice they're numbered one, two, and three in Roman numerals. And the third one looks a lot like the receiver we used to find out what the solution was to this puzzle. Uh, here. So I'm guessing that perhaps there's additional relays that give me access to other lenses. Certainly there's space for two more lenses, and there's two um, additional... There's two other mechanisms described here, or depicted there. But I haven't had any luck in locating any more of the relays. Uh, so I guess if I ask anything, I might spoil, so just going to follow along and see. Ah, right. Yeah, so that's where I'm up to. I just had a thought. I don't suppose... There would be any of those relays that I might be able to see from the other telescope. Uh, here. luck so far I may need a nudge in a minute bit of a shame to start with a nudge but
but I am genuinely stuck. I never managed to get in here. I don't think I have any tools would allow me to. Those numbers cannot be accidents, can they? What was the number for this one? Uh, yeah. Two, four, eight, I think that says. Why would this be two, four, eight? If this was 248 and it was a circle coming from the um, starting with north upwards being zero degrees, then what would be what would we be looking at? What would its relative position be to us now? I suppose that's going to be, I suppose, 68 degrees would be... Um, the opposite direction. I mean, the only thing that brings us to is crossing island. I suppose that's not far off the angle from where we are now to the um, the tower in the centre of the main square. I could believe that that's approximately um, 68 degrees, so the reverse direction would be uh, 248. Okay, where would 70 be then? Well, if they were reversing it, we'd be looking for something that's 250 degrees off from here. Which I think would be just continuing the line, wouldn't it? So... It would be very close to the crystal lab. Uh, I think I have a nudge ready, if it's what I think, but not really sure. This isn't a part I remember exactly, so my, mudge, so my nudge then might be wrong. Uh, no worries. I'll have one more quick look over here and assuming I turn up nothing I will I'll uh, take your nudge with the uh, disclaimer in mind I am indeed stuck
Uh, so I'm not sure how much you've seen. Also, it's lovely to see you again, Foa. Uh, I'm not sure how much you've seen. Uh, so I'll very quickly uh, give you the recap as well in terms of what I've done and what I'm thinking. So I've got... I know the solution... Uh, I know the shape that we're trying to make here because I got that at the end of the last stream here. But I've determined, looking at the lenses carefully, that the, I cannot create that only using the lenses I currently have. So I expect I need two more lenses. I've noticed over here they seem to be these seem to be depictions of the um, the receivers for the remote controller. And the final picture, the third one, seems to depict seems to depict the same thing we saw here, so far as I can tell. So that suggests that the final step is the step that I've already done. I'm guessing that I'm supposed to find two more receivers and that when I do so I will get access to the final two lenses that I need. But I've been all over the map and I have not been able to locate any more of the receivers. Oh, you have seen everything. Um, so yes, I think I would like a nudge, please. Uh, if I remember correctly, there seems to be a thing you can do, like a control mechanic at the telescope. There is. It didn't appear to be operational, though. That was the interesting thing. Uh, wrong place. That's the crystal lab. I was hypothesizing that it wasn't until I had the... all the lenses that it would come into operation. But I could be wrong. It's this. Uh, there's also this. See, it would make sense that, that I could turn it around and then I'd be looking in the direction of the relay I needed. But it doesn't seem to want to do anything. This won't go back up. But perhaps you're right. Perhaps this is where I should be focusing my attention. If I remember correctly, yeah, uh, oh. Oh, your nudge was wrong, fair enough. I just had a thought. I'd been assuming up till now that zero degrees was the northerly direction, assuming that up is north on the map. But this obviously has a compass, so I should now be looking in whatever dire direction is zero degrees. Which is that way. All right. That's interesting. So what would... Um... Two, four, eight look like? It would be roughly this direction, wouldn't it? Roughly.
I'm trying to think, is that the right direction for the relay I've already... already activated? More or less. It's certainly much closer than it is off. So 70 degrees would be approximately this direction, and I suppose the way I should be looking. That causes us to look towards the North Shore, particularly the edge of the North Shore. Ah, yes, I see. That's the edge of the North Shore. about the right way uh, yes if anything hugging the wall even more than that could in theory be either side although more likely to be this side I would have thought But I think this would be the wrong direction. I think we'd be off 70 degrees here. Uh, where are we? Uh, maybe not actually. Yeah, because zero degrees was about that, wasn't it? And I remember that th when we were looking in about 70 degrees, we happened to, the line seemed to go through there. So actually, about the spot we are right now is possible. I think this is about as far as we can go. Maybe it's indicating I need to make it through here. Possibly. I don't think it'd be this far round. Alright, let's try the the other one, shall we? And come back to that one later. So we'll see if one, three, four, seven. So that's approximately this direction. So that's actually straight towards the main tower then uh, although towards the as we look at it the right hand side 
where would that carry on to? That would actually carry on quite nicely straight past the crystal lab all the way over to the watchtower. That entire path is approximately in the direction we're looking right now. Hello. Look what we just found. I mean, it would be rude not to. I don't know if it works over this range or not, though. No, I probably need to get closer. But I suspect that's still a breakthrough. Received a signal. The only problem is I don't have a way up there. I did hear it beep though. I'm trying to work out where this connects up to. opened up has it doesn't look like it so that's interesting given all the evidence pointing to it I would suggest this is what we're looking for especially given that it's the uh, that shape there is exactly what we saw in the diagram. Uh, do I have a picture of it? I do. Here. Oh, is that the, just the sound of... Oh, the beeping was the remote signaler itself. Perhaps I haven't activated it yet. No, it doesn't seem to want to accept that signal. So that raises an interesting question. Is it the case that I'm supposed to Am I supposed to do something that causes the signal to travel over a longer distance? Or is it the case that I'm supposed to be able to get closer to it? Well, while we think about that, let's go back in the other direction, the way we were um, looking before. And now we know to look up extremely high. There it is. Goodness me. I wonder if this is how we get access to the heights. How many times must I have walked past her and just not realized? Oh, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting it to give me a different solution. <laughs> a bunch of times, yes. I was actually genuinely expecting it to give me a lens or um, possibly
uh, give me access to somewhere else. Hmm. Oh well, it didn't. Actually, I will copy that into my physical notes as well, I think, before I go back to the other one. That one looks like it's going to be quite easy to make, fortunately. Of course, it ultimately comes down to the lenses that we have access to. Uh, I'll tell you what, maybe the first thing we should do is just try and solve for that one. Because it could be that once I've solved for that one, um, we gain access to other areas or something like that. Yep, that was quite straightforward. Right, how do I... there we go. So that's the first one. Oops. What's the significance of having done that, I wonder? Double check against my notes. Yep. That is right, but nothing's changed, at least nothing obvious. Does this work now? It does not. Hmm. That's odd. We can see the symbol there. Hidden in plain sight, indeed. Yep. What's the best angle I can get for that one, I wonder? Probably about here. I think I'm just too far. game probably wants me to get up there, but how? Blasted invisible walls. Oh, you never will have to jump. Okay. Hmm. So what am I missing? Clearly, with everything I'm currently aware of, I'm not able to proceed yet. So presumably there's something I haven't realised? Ooh, those are buttons as well. Ah! Okay. Well, now I feel like a bit of a fool. That would have made things a lot easier. Incidentally, what does that do, if anything? 
nothing that I can discern right now. So I wonder if it wants me to actually shine the sing the signal back at where I found it. So I wonder if this wants to be at 70 degrees, for example. Hello, Yisha. It's lovely to see you. How are you today? Wow, that's dead on, isn't it? If that was going to do anything, I'd have expect I'd expect it to be doing it. So perhaps we should head over there and see if anything's changed. Oh, you finally have your internet back. I didn't realize. I hope you haven't been without internet for too long. Nothing seems to have changed. Is that dead on or is that just what it normally looks like? Oh. I mean, that makes sense. Is that going over the top? Yes, I think it is. Oh, I can move the beam. Okay. So that's what that's doing. It doesn't... Of course, it's not going to lean the tower, is it? I don't know what I was expecting. That sounded encouraging. Right, it's not clear what, if anything, that's done. Do we have access to the area over here now? We do! Wonderful news. I wonder what that is. Ooh. Are we moving on to the, uh... The mysterious green stone now? We've seen quite a lot of it in the distance, and we've also seen it as a component of the teleporter that brought us here. Whoa, that was weird. I mean... I have nothing else to do at this point that I'm aware of, so... I suppose find out what happens? Oh, that's done it. What is that doing other than giving me vertigo? Has that changed anything elsewhere? I mean, from a game design standpoint, if it has, you'd hope that the developers made it more obvious that whatever it changes happens to be in view on the horizon, or at least there's some sort of effect on the screen which hints that perhaps you should re revisit old spaces like we had with the... Um with the juice. 
Since there's none of that, I can only assume... Oh, I can move it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, since there's none of that, I can only assume that its effect is more local, which appears to be the case. Where am I trying to connect that up to, though? I can't quite figure out Oh, I see. Is that how I'm supposed to move it? Alright. Alright. Ah, I see. And that's supposed to connect up to there. It was just that the way I was moving it before, I couldn't be precise enough. Is this going to teleport me or something? Whoa! Ooh. Okay, it certainly did. Let's hope, uh... This isn't a universe where we have to deal with the old transporter problem. Goodness. I mean, while I'm here, I may as well explore. Well, now this is interesting, isn't it? Okay. So is this an iterative thing? I can only assume this is allowing me to point the direction that the beam is going to travel in next. It's just I don't seem to have anything else worth aiming at. Ah, is this part of the mystery? Remember that you can lock the camera too. This is true. That probably would have helped. I have no idea what this does at present. Oh, wait. I think I see. I don't know what this lever here is for. But I think this lights up display is telling me which of the green relays are currently active. Because there's one at A, one at B, and one at this point. Oh, that's telling me the direction of travel we're interested in, presumably. Is that a piece of a lens? Ooh, another letter. Which means we're going over the limit of 14. The opportunity I was given was meant to be shared among the worthy. My goal has become to readjust the gateway and to make this world more easily approachable. Although no one has ever been able to even scratch an ancient gateway before, using the purified power I discovered, I managed to disassemble it and get access to its crystals. Doing so, I also shut down the gateway temporarily. I imprisoned myself in this world for the sake of science. I had to make this sacrifice. To form a testing field for this type of rare mineral, I had to demolish several Dalmarian buildings. Haste in judging is shameful. Interesting. 
So this is the first time we've actually had any reference to what Professor Maythorn was trying to do. And I have to admit, on the face of it, it doesn't sound quite so awful. Of course, there may be other factors at play here that we're not currently aware of. Haste to judge and all that. supposed to be completing this now or coming back here later uh, let's see if we can make any more progress with the telescope puzzle and in the event that we cannot then we'll go back where we just were. So we're looking for 347. Uh, that's going to be quick as going backwards, I should think. How's your day been, El Magnifico? And how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, and yeah, my day's been alright. Uh, what about yours? Right, if I try to signal from here, does it work? I'm guessing it won't, and I'm guessing that the other puzzle we just found is the... Yeah, that must be the crux of the matter. Teleporting about is presumably how we're supposed to... Uh, progress further. Um, well, shouldn't complain really, to be honest, but yeah, oh dear. Doesn't sound like you've had such a brilliant day. comes and goes. Very stoic of you. any way to redirect where that's going, do I? Once it reaches this point. So I understand the principle of what we're trying to do here. I just can't see how it's done in practice. Wait, hold on. 
No, that makes sense. So do I need to rotate this such that I can go back? Probably, because I notice another little lever had popped up. Okay, so how many degrees is it turning? That's more than 90, isn't it? Oh, but I have no way of turning it over here. That I know of. Yeah, that doesn't do... Ah! No, that's not help. Or has it? No, that's not helped. I take it this isn't signalable, is it? No hidden text? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Has that changed how this works? No. Hello. What have we found here? We don't seem to be able to interact with these at present. Presumably they'll become available as we solve more of this puzzle? Question mark? a mystery, isn't it? I mean, the next thing I'd like to do is be over there while this is raised and see what I can do with that lever that's appeared. That has appeared, hasn't it? Yeah. You can see it going down and coming up. But obviously we have no way back. And I don't rightly see how we can create a way back either. What's in the inventory? Anything that could help? Hmm. I could examine that object. A quarter of a circular key. Perhaps... Perhaps that's what we've been missing. Do we know anywhere that might accept a quarter of a circular key? I suppose we could check the 
the big telescope room. anything here that's very pertinent that I can see. I certainly don't think we've been waiting on a circular key or even quarter of a circular key. Oh, now it goes up to 20. I wonder if once we reach 20 it will uh, add a bunch more spaces or, or not. So this is the main thing we can do right now. We can redirect this. But to what ends? Can I signal through it? No. I mean, you'd assume the goal here is to get the... Oh! Is it? No, that won't work. There's not a straight line between the beam producer over there and here. So, what are all the directions it can point in? I must say, on its own, none of these directions seem particularly useful. Oh wait, is there something I can pick up there? No. I should perhaps this is the end goal because we can see the lines here and they go all the way round and then ultimately they reach B and this is presumably the well we can see this is oh no this isn't the one before B There should be one over in this direction, although that seems unlikely. Oh no. One in this direction. Yeah. I'm not quite sure that's supposed to connect to, but that's supposed to connect to something over here. And then we can connect to B, I think. I think that's the idea. So from A here, round all, all the way here, back to B, and this is B. So perhaps the idea is that once we've fully configured this system, we'll have an alternate route we can take around here and back again. 
and that means that we'll be able to pull this and it will still work. Which makes me think that that's actually now pointing in the direction that it has to be in to work. So this isn't configurable, and this is presumably the direction we want to turn it in now. Which is actually, it just goes over the top of that hexagonal. Um, prism. I don't mean prism, do I? What's the word? Um, it goes over that object. But that Im would imply that there must be a way that I can cause that to... ...to raise. Which I don't currently seem to have a means to do. Now that's an interesting thing. So definitely nothing else this can connect to. Doesn't look like it. Surely the idea is that we go here first. Due to its very obvious placement. But does that mean there's something else we can do from here that I haven't cottoned onto yet? I never did figure out what that does. Nor do I know what state it was in initially. It doesn't seem to have done anything. Did something change over there? No. It's just my imagination. Oh, it was the view distance, of course. It was land coming in and out of view. I interact with this somehow. That's a bit strange. Uh, perhaps the problem here is this. Now does this want to interact? No. Do we have an item for this? It 
doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, I, can, I think I can see what the final sequence is going to be. But I can't see how we get that far. Being able to redirect this right now seems useless. Mostly because we can't see it from the other side. So it's not like I could go back over here and then redirect the beam over there to connect up to here and then have it relay it to somewhere else that's usable. More things that we... It looks like we should be able to interact with but can't. Oh, is that what I was seeing here? Was it... Probably, yes, because that, that one pokes out. Okay, so it probably wasn't this wheel at all that I was interacting with. Is it the case that I cannot interact with any of these? It certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Plus, I don't really have a good view of them without jumping. Oh, that's an unusual shadow. Ah, that's possible, isn't it? Given the position of the sun. Nothing on the back of this? Doesn't seem like it. There's no paint here, is there? That's covering anything up. No. That bridge is utterly destroyed. So I don't see us raising that out of the water to provide a traversable path. There is this here. I don't appear to have a means to interact with it. So that goes round there. This building... Looks like it could be this building. Which I think is the Crystal Lab. Let's check the map. I am... Here... No. What is that building? Oh, I'm probably looking at the mechanics. That makes sense. Let's try turning this again. Am I missing trick here. I don't think so.
I mean, this feels like the most likely next point. Since we can actually see the... The green. But I have no way of raising this high enough. If this were raised, then I could elevate this, and that would then allow me to... Uh, send the beam off much higher, like up to there. But... That doesn't work with us not being able to walk over there. This would make a lot more sense if there were a way to repair the bridge, but I... I seriously doubt it. I think I need another nudge, unfortunately. We've managed to miss a core mechanic for this area. Really? That is interesting. I'm not mistaken. Interesting gates there. Yeah, that should be correct. I take it I can't teleport myself in arbitrary directions, that would be a bit... Yeah. I think we'd have realised by now, and that would be a bit strange.
Hello. Oh, that's what was locking it out of place. Oh, well, suddenly this makes a lot more sense. This is going to get a bit tedious. That's almost exactly correct. I just want to move this one along slightly, I think. So that toggles those two. That toggles those three. That does those three. And that does those two. have to work it out the hard way. Oh, I'm probably going to have to, aren't I? Alright. Let's just bite the bullet. This is an interesting combination of two different puzzles, actually. Because this is toggling specific lights. in combinations like some of the other puzzles we've had, such as the one where we had to turn all the lights onto the on position. And we've also got the rotation mechanic over there. Which in some ways resembles the puzzle where we had to uh, get access to the, the mechanics by turning the walls around. It's like a combination of those two. So... This one does those two. This one does those three. This one does those three. one does those two. Right, I've got that written down. So that one we can't turn off then. <sighs> uh, I think there was
was a way I could turn them all on, wasn't there? Or have I just made that up? Well, I just wanted them all on so I could examine the state they're in. Yeah, that's almost exactly correct. Oh, of course, we can't change B because B can't turn. Alright, if I can have all of them on but this one, can I do the inverse? So I want each of them to be activated, a all five to be activated an odd number of times. activate all of them, it will turn them all off. No. I just cycled them. That's interesting. Oh, that makes sense, actually, because each of them has two buttons that affect it. Exactly two. So if I activate all of them, they're each enabled and disabled, or they're each toggled twice. Okay. I want to toggle this one because it's only affected by one and two. That means... that one and two must be between them. They're used an odd number of times.
So this is back to the starting position. I need to use one of two or three to Sorry, three or thought four to turn that off. I know I can get this one on its own. Can I get these two? get just that one and I can get just that one. So it wouldn't matter if those two are out of step. So if I can get that one, that one, if I can get this one with either that one or that one or both, then we can solve it. numbers are only affecting pairs. One only affects two of them. Two affects three of them. Three affects three of them. Four affects uh, two. So the interesting thing about that is it means there's two examples where I can effectively swap. If one of the pair is on and the other's off, then I can swap which one's on. Which is probably going to be a useful mechanic. Okay, so now I want to get this one on its own or with... Um...
with one that's easily isolated. This is getting a bit trial and error-ish, isn't it? Oh, I need to swap this round, don't I? So which am I trying to correct now? It's that one, isn't it? I think I'm modelling this problem in the wrong way. Because these toggle, I think they effectively only have one of two states. Each of these can be considered to either be on or off. So I can actually represent this as a series of I can represent this as a series of binary numbers, and for each one I can know exactly which lights are affected and which ones aren't. Yes, I think that has to be correct. There's only 16 possible configurations this system can ever be in. Right, I'll have to give these names if this is what I'm going to do. Um... So, I suppose Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, is it Zeta next? Yes. So, this will be Alpha, oh this one's already named isn't it? Oh, we'll give it another name anyway, I think it will be more confusing if I skip it in the enumeration than if I don't. This is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta. Uh, and... There's no definitive... Um, state which is on or off for these, but it doesn't really matter how we define them. As long as we remember what our starting point is. Uh, 
Okay, so. Uh, I will, even though I am going to give this a letter for the sake of, a Greek letter for the sake of analysis, I will not include it in my table of which lights are on because it's always on. So that's just, um, it's not useful information. So we begin with just alpha on. If I toggle this, um, we get, actually I'll tell you what, given that this is binary, I may as well start over here and consider this to be the least significant uh, bit. We get just delta. Then we have beta and epsilon. Now if I have both these on, we get alpha Uh, beta, delta, epsilon. So everything except Zeta. Right. What's next? I need to turn these two off. That should get us back to our starting position. Now we try just that one. This gets us alpha not beta but we do have epsilon sorry delta epsilon and zeta next we put this one on that gets us just epsilon and zeta. Turn that off, turn this one on. That gets us beta. Delta. and Zeta. Turn this one on too. And we get Alpha, Beta, and Zeta. Right, turn these all off, and we should get back to the starting position, we do. If we have just that one on, we end up with alpha, beta, and zeta. Isn't that what we just had, though? 
Alpha, Beta, Zeta. That's not... No, I guess that makes sense. Interesting. Um... Right, let's carry on. With this, we get... Beta... Delta and Zeta. With this, we get just Epsilon and Zeta. Uh, turn this on as well, we get Alpha, Gamma, no, Delta, Delta, Epsilon, and Zeta. I think some cracking noise started recently, mainly when you speak. Oh! Is that any better? I don't think so. Can you hear it now? And what about now? Now it's gone, okay. I think that was just a loose connection. I think I nudged something when I was writing. Right, this combination gives us beta, and Epsilon. This combination gives us only Delta and that brings us full circle back to Alpha which didn't have to be the case, it's just the way that this has worked out. Right, so the net effect of my having done all that work is that I now know every combination of um, nodes which is possible. So, for example, I know that the only ones I can isolate on their own are Alpha and Delta. I've just noticed the two columns are... I did a column, uh, one column for the first three, and then another column for the first three with the fourth one toggled. And they're actually the same values, but reversed. Which is interesting. Alright, let me think about this. Um... So this is going to turn into something very much like the puzzle we did 
with the getting into the mechanics where we were turning the walls around. So I have to figure out what order do I have to solve them in. Now fortunately Alpha and Delta, that's this one and this one, I can isolate on their own. So either one of those I could do last, that's not a problem. But there's three more I have to worry about. I have to worry about Beta, Epsilon and Zeta. So the question is, what is the optimal, optimal order for them? So I can do Epsilon and Beta at the same time. I suppose in the perfect world it would be nice to get any one of those three in combination with just one of Alpha or Delta. I don't think that's possible. I suppose the next most preferable would be to get them with any one of those with both Alpha and Delta. No, okay, well if I remove Alpha and Delta from each combination, what do I end up with? I can have Beta and Zeta. Maybe I should write this down. I can have Beta and Epsilon. I can have Alpha and Beta and Epsilon. So I'm just going down the list again, but I'm removing um, Alpha and Delta because I can isolate them so I can solve those on their own later. Um, Speaking of which, why did I include Alpha in that list then? So I can have Beta and Epsilon. I can have Beta and Epsilon again, but in a worse way. Uh, I can have Epsilon and Zeta. I can have, indeed, I did, I did uh, sort out Nightbot, thank you for the suggestion Pengi. What else can I have, I can have Beta and Zeta. And I can beta and zeta again, but in a worse way. Is that definitely my only option? So I can have beta and epsilon, epsilon and zeta, or beta and... Um, sorry, beta and epsilon, epsilon and zeta, beta and zeta. Those are my only choices. That's suboptimal. That's the way it is though. Alright, with that information, how do I solve it? Um, well, I'm going to need to solve for all three of those. 
Oh, the problem is, because they're all tied together, I can't alter one without messing with another one. I think this puzzle is only solvable if these are only solvable for certain um, initial states. Now I'm sure if that's the case, then the devs obviously picked an initial state that is solvable. But I don't think this class of problem with the toggles they've given me is guaranteed to be solvable in all cases. Just double and triple checking my working to make sure I haven't made a mistake. It looks a lot like that's the case. Yep, I don't think I've made a mistake. All right, now we have that knowledge. What does that mean in practice? So just taking alpha and delta out of the equation right now, just thinking about it as three inputs, and I can rotate any of them, but I have to rotate, and any pair, but I have to rotate in pairs. There's six possible positions each node can be in. I'm just trying to think, what constraints does that create? No, I think I was wrong in my previous statement. Am I wrong? What I'm thinking is, taking beta, epsilon, and zeta into account, imagine I first rotated that pair, so beta and epsilon, and then I rotated that pair, beta and zeta. This one has moved around two, these ones individually have moved one. Does that not tell me that whatever... Whatever position they're in to start with, I can always make one of the three be... I can always advance one of the three by one relative to the other two. And due to symmetry, I could obviously do that to any of them. That may be true, but supposing I wanted to move them all together. The smallest advancement I could move them all in is surely two. One pair, one pair, the final pair.
Is there any way I could advance them all by an odd number? I don't think there is, is there? Because supposing I advanced Beta and Epsilon twice. So they've each got a, a value of 2. Of course, six, uh, at 6 we wrap around and we get back to the start. And then I rotated Beta and Zeta. And then I did Epsilon and Zeta. Now Epsilon would have a value of 2. But beta, sorry, zeta would have a value of 2, but epsilon and beta would have a value of uh, 3, respectively. And then there's no way I could possibly advance this one by just 1. And then if I did the same operation again, that is to say I, I did a rotation of beta sorry, beta and zeta and beta and epsilon once more, then they all end up with a... they've all rotated by 4, which is an even number, it's divisible by 2. So I think, mutually, this set of three nodes can only ever all be rotated by... they can only ever be rotated together by factors of 2. Which I think means that exactly 50% of all possible starting positions for this puzzle, that is taking the generalized case, exactly 50% are soluble and 50% are impossible to solve. It all comes down to the... Um, is that true? No, it would be worse than that, wouldn't it? No, I think it's 1 in 8 is soluble. Because if any one of these, or any pair, was out of phase... Oh, but any pair generalises into any one, doesn't it? As in they're synonymous. If any one of these was out of phase with the others by one, then the puzzle wouldn't be solvable. But supposing they were all out of phase by one, in which case, because you can only rotate all of them by two, it also wouldn't be solvable. So I think I was right the second time when I said one in eight of the general cases. In the general case, allowing all possible starting combinations, I think only one in eight are soluble, and the other seven out of eight aren't. Um, but that's not the problem at hand. That's interesting, but not the problem at hand. Um, all right, well, I suppose what I need to do right now is find the current state of I think I remember what it was incidentally but just to confirm I need to know the, the current state of beta, epsilon and delta sorry I said delta when I meant zeta didn't I beta, epsilon and zeta uh, can I get them all up at the same time don't think I can. But that's alright. 
we can just check. Um, okay. So we know that... We know that... Beta wants to go... wants to turn by one and Epsilon is exactly where it wants to be. Uh, what's the quickest way to see Zeta state this? Zeta and Epsilon are where they want to be. Ah. Okay. I think that's the one of those worst case scenarios I spoke about before where it's not solvable, which means I must have done my analysis wrong. How would I get Epsilon around by one? relative to the other two. So the other two have to go round by a multiple of six. Sorry, beta I mean, but beta has to go round by a multiple of six plus one. I'm doing this the right way round, aren't I? Yes. I swear that shouldn't be possible. If a solution exists, 
It must involve me... Rotating beta with one of its pairs one more time with one of them than the other. Wait, we discussed this before, didn't we? The way to get them to go one ahead of each other would be to... Yes, I see how to do it. Yes, this is solvable. What I need to do is I need to rotate beta and epsilon. Then I need to rotate beta and zeta. At this point, beta will effectively be um, turned... It will have advanced by two, while the others will have advanced by one. But then this one still needs to advance by five to get back to where it wants to be because it's gone it's advanced by two whereas these two need to advance by also five how would i advance them all by five though because that's not a multiple of two and i have to advance them in pairs Because if I rotate all three, if I rotate all three pairings of these three nodes, then they each go round by two. But they need to each go round an odd number of times for this to be soluble. At least through this approach. Hmm, I can keep advancing these two on their own if necessary. So, so we end up in doing the... Making the changes I suggested, each of these need to go around five times. Then I advance these two, so these two need to go around four times. Then I advance them again, then they need to go around three times. For example, this one still needs to go around five times at that point. Which then leaves us in the position I was talking about before, where I just can't... It just doesn't add up. Correctly. I end up having to advance it with one of these. One, one of the pairings has to be advanced more than the other pairing. One of the pairings with beta has to be advanced more than the other pairing with beta. Um, which then means these two end up out of sync relative to each other. These two are both where they want to be right now, so we want to leave them in sync. A 
As many times as this one is advanced, you want to advance this one. But that requires that this go around an even number of times, but we know it has to go around an odd number of times for it to be able to reach B. Let's look at that diagram again. Yeah, it really is just depicting a path straight round there, isn't it? I've just realised another problem. In all the combinations I tried, I never found a combination which raised every single every single one of these, did I? Does this... What did this one do? Oh, for goodness sake, that's why my analysis was off. I thought it seemed impossible because it was impossible. Oh my goodness. Alright, the quickest way to a solution, as to a general, as opposed to generally solving it like I had been trying, I suppose would be trying to spot patterns here that I can exploit to very quickly isolate just this one. It doesn't follow that such a, um, such a, uh, a combination actually exists, but it may well do. Right, which ones can we just turn on and off here? I can toggle Delta like this. That's the only single toggle one. Does Delta ever end up on its own? It ends up on it. Sorry, I keep saying Delta when I mean Zeta. That's Zeta. Um, I can toggle Zeta with this one. Does Zeta ever end up on its own with just one other one? It ends up on its own with just Epsilon. So that means I can, in theory, I can very quickly isolate Epsilon. That's going to be the quickest way to brute force this, isn't it? Because I can solve for... Using my previous approach, I'm pretty certain I can solve for both Zeta and Beta quite easily and then I just manually correct for um, Epsilon using the trick I, I've just discovered and then I quickly go over and do Alpha and Delta and then we're done alright that's the plan then so that means the order in which I need to solve them uh, um, Zeta and beta then I need to do epsilon then I can do alpha and delta in any order so we'll call that alpha or delta
Right, let's think about the problem again, this time just from the perspective of Beta and Zeta. So Beta needs to go round either 1 times, 7 times, 13 times, etc. It's a multiple of 6 plus 1. Um, if I don't care about Epsilon, that's easy. I just rotate Epsilon and Beta together. Uh, like so and I just do it once and then I ice it because as it happens we already have zeta in position so I don't actually need to adjust it at all I just do that then I use the trick we've just discovered to isolate epsilon uh, what am I looking for Like so. Epsilon is isolated. Now I just send this around five times and it'll end up where it needs to be. Uh, I should have pulled this, shouldn't I? And I see, and we haven't moved Alpha or Delta, and they were both in position already. Um. How do I put this back? That's not back. Um, hold on, there's an easy way to do this. Now that should be one, that should be a combination that I can recognize. That's just delta, so that. There we go. The reason I'm putting it back into the initial position is because all my analysis was done from before I knew about this lever. And as I say, to save time, I'm not doing the full analysis now taking the lever into account. I could do that and it would probably work, but it, there, obviously there's, it, we want to get on with the game. Um, so by putting it back in the initial state that I did all my analysis from, if I have to go back here and manipulate this again, at least it will be in a state from which I can um, I can easily reason from. Right, I think that's done. Does this mean that when I pull this... No, that's not done. I'll tell you why it's not done. Because I need to bring all of these up. That's not going to work. Um, Alright, I can t toggle Epsilon, I know that. Anything else useful I can do? I mean, obviously a lot, but... Again, trying to work quickly. Is there a quick way I can solve this? Hmm... I suppose I would be looking for a... I'm looking to see if in my list of solutions that I know about, before I found out about the lever, how it operates, is there any combination which is just the dark ones on? Because that would be the way to turn them all on. Um, so this is... So I'm looking for beta and... Sorry, that's not beta, that's delta. Delta and zeta only. No, I don't have that. Uh, which one did I... Let's just start over here, shall I? Was there one that had alpha, epsilon and zeta? No. Oh, I can toggle Epsilon, can't I? How did I do that? How did I toggle Epsilon?
Uh, it was because I can turn just Delta on here. And wasn't there a way to do... No, that wasn't it. Oh, how did I do it? Um... I see. I'm going to write this combination down. Toggle... Epsilon... So it's alternate O O O one followed by it does the order doesn't actually matter as long as I do the same operations followed by O one O one. I could do it in either order, it should have the same effect. So that's toggled Um just up silent on. Which one was it to turn all the others on? Am I going mad? Hold on, let me undo what I just did. Um. So is alt down? You'd think I'd have remembered which way round it is. Yes. Alt is down. Down meaning closest to me. Now wasn't there a way I managed to turn them all on? Yes, other than Epsilon. So now if I toggle that, go back to normal, toggle that, toggle that. Why isn't that working? That should be working. So this one does these three, as you can see. This is our starting state, so I should be able to get just these three on. Oh, it doesn't just toggle up silent. Okay, I made a mistake. That's on me. Oh, I see how I made that mistake. That's when I was trying to remember how to toggle up silent and I failed to take account of the fact that alpha is on by default. How did I toggle up silent then? I've already done this once to solve the... Um, to get to the point we currently are. No, I didn't toggle Epsilon. I isolated Epsilon previously. That's the cause of the confusion. Okay. So I actually toggled Alpha and Epsilon. That's what I did.
I should have started to write a program to brute force this when you started. Feels too late now. Yeah. Oops, which ones did I? Oh, I've turned them all off. That was clever. I'm just trying to get back to my initial state. There we go. Oh, I hope I don't have to do the full analysis. I know it would work, but... It would take a while. Hold on. Alpha, Delta, Epsilon. No, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Epsilon. That's all of them except... Okay, that's how I do it. I was just being, being a fool. Right, and these should all be in the right position now. Yes. Phew. I don't know why that took me so long. It shouldn't have. I should have spotted that much sooner. Right, all this. And I have a route back now. Wonderful news. What does this do? Oh, I see. Thank you. Took me a while, but I got there in the end. Ah, this is important. I need this so I can redirect the relay here so it points over here. So that when I raise it and redirect the light, I can get over there. Thank you, Pengi. Uh, now what? Ah, oh, that's right. There we go. Oh, this looks like a cupboard we saw earlier on, but that cupboard's... I assume this is some sort of knob for opening it. Uh, it wasn't lit up like that. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wonderful. So am I trying to get something from there to there? Is there any indicator anywhere? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. So examining this carefully, there's, there's a um, pipe that's coming in or out here, there's a pipe coming in or out here, and that's about it. Alright. I mean, so far I feel like I haven't actually had to make any choices. Ah, that's how I make a choice, it's these pieces. I see, that makes sense. Oh, and I... Okay, those also allow you to make choices. Fair enough. Wonderful. That wasn't too bad. Ooh. 
Ooh, my very own green stone. And another lens. Wonderful. Uh, where's my inventory? A green crystal, finally. Connecting two of these should let me travel between them. I could probably fit that into the little telescope, I reckon. In fact, I might just do that. Pretty sure there's a green crystal that's visible from here. I could be wrong. I think it's up here somewhere? Yes. Next, we locate our magic crystal holder that just happens to fit into the telescope. We put this in place. And with a bit of luck. Well, hey! We finally made it up top. The summit. The world chain. Uh, let's make a copy of this actually, just in case. Uh, the universe as we know it is an infinite expanse of systematically interconnected worlds. The points of this complex topology are linked together by ancient gateways. These portals are capable of providing back and forth passages between two worlds. Since their orientations and the real distance between certain points are unknown, mapping and categorizing is based on merely topological connections. Lane world is the most common world type around the world chain. As lane worlds possess two ancient gateways, they are directly connected with two neighboring worlds. When six or more lane worlds are connected without any interceptions, they are called a world line. The longest charted world line is the Lashen line, with 12 segments. Branching worlds are three gateways. They connect three worlds together. Junction worlds are rare. They have more than three portals. Oshwald, the capital world of the United Empire, is the only known junction world with six ancient gateways. As Monoway worlds have only one ancient gateway, these worlds are the endpoints of world branches. When a world has three or more portals, they are always placed systematically. The gateways are always arranged at the vertices of a regular polygon, facing its geometric center, with the diameter of the circ circumscribed circle between 150 and 300 meters. That is interesting. Oh, hello there. Oh, I see. He trapped you here. Did you really come here without any intent? Without any selfish goals? Indeed. My name is Gamana. I'm protecting this world. He is playing you just as he once played me. All these little puzzles he makes you solve must be part of his stubborn plans. There was a time when I thought of him as a friend, and I helped him just as you help him now. What have I done? How could I not see? But wait, maybe, yes, maybe you will be of some help after all. For now, you must obey his rules. But honestly, do you have a choice? Still, our time will come. The time when we will stop him. Indeed. Well, that was interesting. I wonder if I'm supposed to pour something in there designed to kill this plant. Uh, I don't think I have a recipe which is specifically a weed killer, though. I could try the solution that dissolves the crystal. But I have no reason to particularly believe 
that it would be good or bad for this plant. Since after all it isn't a crystal. Wonderful. Uh, I'll probably get a picture of that from a different angle. I would rather like to get in there. Maybe I should go back quick, take a quick uh, detour back to the garden and alchemy lab. Just to check and see whether uh, there was a recipe there that I haven't used. So that's the crystal dissolving one. No, I'm not seeing another recipe. was in there. I imagine I'd have taken a picture. Hmm, that didn't work very well. Maybe I didn't. Or did I go past it? It would have been after that. Oh, doesn't look like I did. Oh well. May as well quickly check what's there. just in case it's a recipe for some herbicide. Uh, there it is. Uh. No, it's just a spiral. Never mind. Alrighty, um, wrong way. I think the obvious next thing to try is to go back to the telescope room and complete this. I'm not entirely sure what this is going to unlock. Right, let me add this one to my physical notes as well, because they're easier to easier to reference while I'm actually doing things in game. Right, one, 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 one a half. I don't suppose it matters which of the two positions I put the
uh, blends in too. Okie dokie. So let's get started, shall we? Probably the hardest thing to get right is going to be the half piece coming from the inside. Uh, so let's try the various candidates and see which ones are possible. That's almost it, isn't it? We're just missing a top bit. No, sorry, a bit coming off here. At 45 degrees. Blimey. Uh, what's going to be the easiest way of doing that, I wonder? This? I think that's it. Let's see. That's it, I think. Don't think I've made a mistake. Blimey, that didn't take long. Question is, what did that actually do? If it did anything, it might actually be up there in the um, area I was just a moment ago, which I reached via the little telescope. Oh, I do like this mechanic, the way we keep coming back to the telescope with new equipment and using it um, in new ways, but which are clearly developed from the way we used it in earlier puzzles. Right, so this connects over here, which goes here. Oh, I see, this has powered it. Okay, so this presumably is the next thing I do. I just need to get rid of this plan. Um, yeah, that does present a problem. I genuinely don't know what's going to kill the plant. I could try some of the crystal dissolving solution on the ground so it's probably a powerful acid and I can only imagine a powerful acid would do a plant no good whatsoever. Just brute force all combinations of potions and plants etc. Yes indeed. Sounds like a fantastic use of my time. Ah, this needs taxes. Which I seem to remember I had to create. How did that work? There was a table, wasn't there? was on here. I also have this in my physical notes somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's going to be easier to get it from my physical notes because I'd have also written down what all the ingredients look like. There we go. 
So we need some blue flower. Uh, that was it. It went in here, didn't it? Uh, I actually intended to put something in there, but never mind. Uh, is it a test tube I put in here? Yes. And the blue flower. How do I deposit it? Did I just click on the wrong area? There we go. Right, what's next? One blue flower. One red fern. So that'll be this. Then two red mushrooms, which I think we decided were actually berries. Once we saw the plant. If there's no time, then these aren't going to be growing back. There's a, a very finite supply of all this. Uh, red flower. Oh, was that the one that, that we decided was actually more pinkish? I think so. Probably this one then. Because it looks red there. Uh, and then finally, one purple tip divine. Wonderful. Those are taxes. In you go. Right, what else did we need? Turf. In you go. Two yen. One? And two. Uh, one jahess. In you go. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, here it is. One green, two white, one yellow. That's definitely correct, isn't it? One green, two white, one yellow. One green. One. Two white. And then one yellow. And I distinctly recall that nothing changed about it, did it? There was no obvious way that we could tell that we'd done it correctly. Right. Let's hope this does that plant no favours whatsoever. Failing this, I don't know what I'm going to do. If this doesn't work, I just have to conclude that there's probably a recipe for herbicide on the level somewhere. I say in the level somewhere in the world. And that I've either forgotten about it or never knew about it. Hey Ka'el, it's lovely to see you. How are you today?
Well, it really didn't seem to care, did it? That makes life difficult. I mean, I could try going the other way and making it grow, but somehow I don't think that's a good idea. I am making progress very, very slowly. I spent the last hour or so on uh, just one puzzle trying to... Uh, have you played this game before? Are you familiar with the puzzles? You have. Um, so the puzzle which with the green relay stations where you have to you have one control that lets you toggle which relay stations you're controlling and then another one that lets you rotate them that took me about an hour or so um, mostly because I there was one mechanism there that I didn't realize I I didn't there's a lever that you can pull which then changes what all the other levers do and I didn't realize that till really late on um, which complicated things but yeah other than that making progress I don't suppose I have a recipe for herbicide in any of my any of the letters do I that would be convenient doesn't look like it Um, to save a bit of time, could someone let me know, is there just a recipe for herbicide lying around somewhere that I've forgotten about? Or is the... is the puzzle uh, different to that? I only ask because it may be it may be a rather long boring time for me to just search every area in the game again just to find a piece of paper that I've forgotten about. I checked in here, didn't I? What about in here? Almost, if I remember correctly. Okay, so there is at least one additional level of abstraction then. That's fair enough. If this is legitimately something that I need to work out, then I should work it out. It's just as you can imagine, it, it would seem a bit unsatisfying if I spent half an hour going through the uh, entire um, 
the entire game world that we currently have available over and over again just to find a piece of paper that I'd forgotten about. Let's go back over there then and have a closer look. Sounds like the spot I got stuck on after having a break for a long while. Oh, I remember you mentioning about that. I see. I seem to remember you were saying that a big part of the reason you got stuck is because you'd forgotten about stuff that you'd encountered. Um, earlier in the game, because you took the break. Ah, uh, the old thing. Want to help, but don't want to spoil. Uh, tell you what, if I haven't made any progress in uh, five, six minutes or so, then I'll ask for a nudge. Like I say, it's not like I'm a, I'm um, opposed to doing the work, as it were. It's just, if it literally were just a piece of paper that I had forgotten about, that would be really frustrating. Uh, no, I don't feel pressured to. I should probably check also in the swamp aisles because that's obviously the area I was I've most well second most recently gained access to and it's one of the most unexplored areas from my perspective like I keep forgetting this diagram exists even though I haven't figured out what it means yet. Hmm, no help here. Pretty confident. I, I probably to be thorough. I'll be thorough. I will go back over there. I'm pretty confident there's nothing over there, but um, what am I trying to do? That needs to go there. And this needs to come down. Again, for the sake of being thorough, let's check the letter where he talks about the treatment he gave to the plants. I think it was after that. I often visited these gardens to relax and to admire the beauty of nature. The Dalmarians already separated and named all of the native herbs. I decided to keep their original names. You're probably wondering why all of these plants are dry, considering the unique attributes of the island. The truth is, 
They cannot wither naturally here, so I had to weaken them myself. It was necessary in order to force you to follow the path I've laid out for you. To be able to proceed, it is essential to find a way to revitalize these herbs. There's no reason to be worried. Just barely, but they are alive. Right. That's no real assistance, is it? All we know is that what we want to do here is possible. It doesn't tell us how to do it. diagrams of that same building. Is that this one? I'm not sure it is. The top's different. Yeah. The top's slightly different, I think. One more look. So there is a structure there. Could be the same one. No, the windows are different as well, so probably not. Could it be this side? No, because there would be the window, so that's not the same building. Um, goodness. The only thing I can think is, is there... Are the recipes systematic in any way? Can I turn a rejuvenating potion into a, a poisoning pose a potion in some systematic way? But I don't think so. I've just had an idea. Uh, I'm going to try this one thing, and if this doesn't work, I'll ask for a nudge. So, isn't it odd that we have all of these um, liquids in great abundance, other than the taxes, which seems to be almost gone? We also know that he deliberately poisoned all the plants. I wonder, is this the poison? We've also had several hints about the berries being quite potent, at least to people. Um, I think I checked this already. I don't have any recipes in the letters, do I? No. One very quick look through here again. Make sure I haven't missed. An obvious recipe. Doesn't look like it. There could be something under that, actually. So we'll do two things. We'll make ourselves a berry drink. And we'll check if there's anything hidden under there. Assuming there isn't, we'll make some more taxes. Just another spiral. Okie doke. Right. And we'll see if that is the poison. So, what are we looking for? One blue flower. Uh, I'd better put the test tube in place. Next, what do we need? One red fern. Uh, 
Uh, two red berries. Then what? One red flower, which is actually pink. Uh, and then it was one purple tipped vine, wasn't it? Wonderful. Now, if we're lucky, this will actually be the poison. I'm not allowed to. That doesn't work then. Let's have one last check of that rejuvenation uh, re rejuvenation potion recipe. Yeah, there's no real indication how I go the other way, is there? Okay, uh, I think I'll need that nudge. Something to help focus me on the right area. So I'm not just clutching at straws over and over. Oh, it is a shame that it wasn't the uh, red liquid. The taxes. I just remember that you've been commenting on it earlier in your playthrough. Really? No, unfortunately that's not triggering triggering anything, any memories. Gamers never look up. Oh, okay. Oh, of course. I'm such a dope. I completely forgot about that.
Thank you for the nudge. Me too, when I played, was stuck here for a bit. <laughs> going. That's on the way. This is the way. Oh, do I have to place it down somewhere? I suppose that makes sense. Because presumably I can't use it while I'm holding it. That does raise some questions though. Oh, I remember. This'll be it. I remember s seeing this and commenting on how strange it was that there were lenses there that led up to that green crystal. Oops. Played solo and refused to look stuff up. I don't want to know how high percentage of my playtime was just looking for stuff to do. I can believe it. Oh no. More plants. Oh well. Um. Better add these to the list. Not that there's much room left. those up here? No. What is that? Not quite like a berry. I'll call it a closed flower for now, but I suspect it isn't. As long as I can recognise it from the description, that's all that really matters. Those have been added. Uh, I totally forgot about the details of, the, of this area when I got to this point. I was like two, three months between messing with plans and doing the teleporter puzzles. Oh, we have another circular key. Huh. Oh my goodness. That's odd. I want, that looks like flowers on one side or plant matter on one side and the liquids at the top. 
Oh, that's how to create the liquid with you. But I already knew that. Did I know all of them? I'm not sure I've seen that one before. Maybe I have. Let me check my notes. Isn't it? Yes, they've added one. I prepared everything to slow you down. I've noticed. Force you to understand everything I once understood. Yeah. I want you to know that this journey I called you upon is more important than you, or even me. Even you? The success or failure of your quest will profoundly affect the whole world. I can only hope you are worth all my efforts. Why do you need me? Since you clearly had a vast amount of time at your, on your hands and resources, why am I necessary? Oh, does that want a battery, maybe? I assume it wants one of these things. What was the old recipe? Does that go in here? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it reverses it. Wonderful. That's telling me that I find this at a different location, isn't it? Hmm, if only I'd made a map with the different symbols for the locations. My notes of those where to use a screenshot or take a photo of my phone. See. Um, what am I trying to do? I need to make this, don't I? the advantage of writing physical notes is that you can format, the, format them and associate information as in any way you uh, any way you like so in a situation like this I can write out a copy of the recipe that includes descriptions of all the plants which makes things much easier when it comes time to actually start um, extracting the juices ingredient to go
and now to copy out the <laughs> that's an interesting printer I want a printer like that for my computer indeed I was thinking that oh where did I put my list of the descriptions of everything nearly there funnily enough the ingredients are almost entirely the uh, the new ingredients we've only just learnt about In fact, I think all of the new plants are used in it. Oh no, I might be wrong. No, one of them isn't. Just double checking everything quickly. Because it would be a shame to get well into the process only to discover that I've made a mistake no that all looks correct to me good uh... yeah how do i get these where even are they because i'm pretty sure they're not in the garden i'll double check in a moment but I'm pretty sure if they were, I'd have noticed them by now. Unless they put them over the other side. That's a possibility. Well, they're not here. Huh. Oh, they're in here. Oh, that is a mushroom. Ah. Okay, this is starting to make sense now. Um. Right. So this is all quite straightforward other than the first ingredient. That's strange, I didn't see anything being removed. Oh, I need to tip this. Everlasting mushrooms. Yum yum. I noticed nothing seemed to be deposited in there either, which is interesting. Uh, 
Uh, hold on, before I add that... Uh, I think that's wrong. That's what I want. Oh, perhaps only two of the new ingredients are used then. the second of the new ingredients. No, I think it is three of the four. Yes. And finally this one. Right, and that should be everything we need. Let's hope I didn't make a mistake. Right, that goes in there. Turv. black, one green, and is that sand? I'll have to investigate that in a moment. So I need to find the corresponding symbol, don't I? That's the corresponding symbol, I'm pretty sure. So that must be sand. Uh, nope, not that way, this way. Right, so of any luck, this will be the last ingredient. Again, nothing momentous has happened. So I just have to trust that I didn't make a mistake at any stage. That jug wasn't textured for a moment there. I wonder if I could dehydrate all the plants again. I probably could and probably shouldn't. Although there might be an achievement in it. Of course. I forgot my transportation.
letters do we have left? Four. Four to go. Trippy. Right. Fingers crossed I didn't make a mistake. Hey! Wow, that was effective. That was very, very effective. Oh, wonderful. Uh, right, what are we looking at here? We seem to have... Oh, I see. There's orange to orange here and white to white here. How am I going to get them past each other? I think logically, if I'm able to get them past each other... I don't know. Oh, with these. Ah, okay. That makes sense. So far, so good. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I usually like these two. Well, I've got to admit, they have been mercifully easy so far. I do wonder if there's multiple solutions. I, I seem to solve that so quickly just by trying whatever it looked like it might work that uh I'm dubious that that was the only solution. Right, what are we doing now? We're going back to the mechanics. Is that what they called it? Yes, the mechanics. And we've got to line up the third and final... Uh, ...receiver. Pretty sure there's only one solution, so probably some luck involved there too. Yes. No doubt. Nearly there. Is this reversed or something? Or was it just really, really high to begin with? I think it must have just been really, really high to begin with. Yes. There we go. Right, uh, where's that in my notes? Easier if I'm looking at the... the copy of my notes as I'm doing it. I'm 
Right, let's put this one in. I'm guessing this one's involved. Uh, well, the logical way, or sorry, the most obvious way that this would be involved would be like that. That one actually helps a lot. That gets us a lot of what we're looking for. Um, yes. Right, what was this one again? Does this help at all? I'm not sure it does. I don't know, actually. What if it was that way round? That has actually got us much closer, I think. I think all we're missing now is a half piece there and a half piece and a full piece here. Half piece there, full piece there. Right, how are we getting that? Uh, well, a half outer piece is probably the rarer of the... pieces we're looking for. Oh, is that it? Half, full, full, half, full, half, full, half. I think we've done it. Back you go. Oh, that was fast. Uh, what's going to be the quickest way? Oh, I don't have much choice. We're definitely going out this way. Alright, so what, if anything, has this done? Oh, I know what it's almost certainly done. It's probably opened up the... Yes. The cabinet down here. Oh dear. Well, that's not ideal. That's very dilapidated for uh, an item that exists in a world without time. Right, what am I doing? Is that a white input? No, that's a white output. What's going on here? Maybe... Maybe I have to recombine them to make white. Oh, of course, because the white torch was more powerful than the orange torch. So that this is supposed to be a hint that the signal has been um, attenuated. Fair enough. So what's the piece that combines them? I suppose any piece like this that I choose to use? Righty, we'll see what we can do. That's not a lot of good. Uh, that's not a lot of good. Well, it's got to be there so far, I think. assume you can't rotate the first split. No, indeed I cannot. So it has to be like this at least this far. I suppose it could go up this way.
but then I'm in trouble here. I don't think that's actually part of the solution, sadly. Hmm. That doesn't work, does it? So I must have to do something more like this? No. That doesn't work. I'd have to get that there. Which might be doable. Alright, let's think about this more systematically. Uh, are there any other possible points where we can join? I don't think there are. I think that's the only one. So first question, I suppose, is how do we get that to the end? That's not going to work, is it? What if I was doing it this way? That also doesn't look productive. Have I missed something here? Yes, it could go backwards that way. So down here, round here, round here, turn here. No, that was right to begin with. Then that. Okay, so then it's a question of how do I get them both into here? Now, up to this point, I think we must be correct. I don't think there's any other possibilities, which means... I don't think we've had a choice until this point. I think this is our first real choice. That probably goes there, then. Then it just becomes a question of how do I get this there. Which is a challenge. Ah, I have to loop round. Nope, that's no good. So we've got that. <clears throat> No choice there. I suppose technically I have a choice here. I could go this way. Hold on. If this is in this position, then we have to come in this way, which means we have to be over here. Which means we have to be coming in this way, which isn't possible. So does that mean this is the wrong orientation? Supposing I turn this round that way, then that, then that, that would then go this way, that would also work. So this orientation is another possibility. Except... It's all very well until we start considering this part. So let me see. It comes out here, goes round here, round here, round here, round here, round here, wonderful. But going the other way, it's round here, would have to go that way. 
So we'd have to get something in here, which means it has to come down here. So that goes round like that. Okay, which means I need to get this one here, which doesn't seem doable. I think that would have to go around this way, and this one would have to go around the top. I think I see it. I think this is it. No? That's it. There we go. That took a while. Thank you. A magnet that can be attached to a hook. I mean, I know where I could use that. Oh, but incidentally, how's the sound been? Have we had any more sound problems since um, we last spoke about it? Sound is good. Wonderful. I assume I use it right here. So there's probably something in the water. So now you need a hook that can be attached to a magnet. Indeed. Well, that certainly looks like something. Could I not pick it up? Oh, I can open it. I have another um, piece, circular piece of a puzzle, although I would note it does seem to have been somewhat corroded by the water, surprisingly so, or at least chemically changed, surprisingly so for um, an item in a world with no time. One, one quarter of a circular key, one quarter of a circular key, one quarter of a circular key. So I only have three quarters of the circular key. Ick. Um. Oh boy, that's uh. That's left me a bit lost. That that trail just sort of dried up, didn't it? We seem to have come to the conclusion of that particular path. I take it I don't use it to get in here somehow, do I? They don't go... The circular key bits don't go in here, do they? They do! Wonderful. But I'm still missing a piece. Oh dear. I'm saying nothing. No, I don't have it in my inventory. Which is good. Well, I've completed this. Did I miss something? I think I know it's hidden somewhere. What a quick game this would be if there was a 3D printer in one of the rooms. Yeah, this really does seem to be... seems to have just reached its conclusion, doesn't it? There were three parts and... Three parts that were um, mentioned on the wall within the mechanics. And we seem to have finished all that. Or if you could use one of the sledgehammers lying around. Yeah, I was thinking that. I mean, I imagine this is somewhat reinforced, but... I'm not convinced one couldn't get in there. 
I'll just be able to climb a reasonable bit. Unlimited time, just break every door lock. My, based on the items I've acquired, going through all the mechanics puzzles, my best guess is that perhaps there's somewhere else I can set up the um, green crystal. set it up here can I no because I don't know what's on the other side of this I don't think I don't I don't recall ever I remember looking at this and thinking about it but I don't remember ever using it for anything for all I know if I put a green uh, crystal beam in there it would be shot around who knows where and then meet another green crystal and I could teleport but alas no that doesn't seem to be the case Yes, that would make sense. But no. Or the red crystal and see where the smoke comes out. Th that might be the more destructive option. You might be able to deduce something that way, but you may also find... Uh, your discover is burned to a cinder before you can in any way profit from them. It's just casual terrorism. We've done all of that, so far as I'm aware anyway, it didn't look like there was anything else there. I mean, I could go back into the mechanics and just twirl the telescope about, see if we find anything. I never found out what this did, did I? Keeping our eyes peeled. Not part of a puzzle, just changes the speed. Oh! Oh, that's convenient. I wish I'd worked that out sooner. Been up there. Where is that? That's by the North Shore. I wish I could get up into a position where I could more easily see. I oh, I know where that is. That's the um. That's the area we get to by climbing up the ladder. This was the control to bring the walls around originally so we could get in this building. Uh, I think that's a puzzle that rotates the doors to the mechanic room. Yes, indeed.
must admit, I'm not seeing anything. I did keep seeing diagrams though, didn't I? That seemed to be indicating some sort of building. Which I couldn't figure out. Could be this building, to be honest. Where was it? There was two that I'm, I recall. There's this one. And... This one. searched over here several times, haven't I? Doesn't look like there's anything to do there. letters a full four letters still to go goodness I could go back to the little telescope and I could search for more green crystal. It's possible there's more than one spot I can reach that way. There's not a bit of green crystal on that island here. That would have been a nice little um, little adventure. require a little nudge. Uh, is that a May soon or May now? That's a May soon. I don't have any other ideas to be honest. But but I don't want to be too quick to resort to help. Let's look at the map again. Looks like we've explored everywhere. I really don't like the fact that they use a very light pale colour to denote the ground 
and simultaneously they've decided to use a different but very similar light pale colour to represent the water. And I think the darker colour must be uh, ground which is impassable. Because I always find it uh, more difficult than it should be just at a glance to look at the map and uh, identify what are the major land masses. You know, what are the bits that I can walk on, what are the bits that I can't. It's not as bad now that I've discovered everything because there's outlines almost everywhere to delineate um, what is passable and what isn't, what 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 the, um, the where the boundaries lie. But especially when the map was mostly undiscovered, it was very frustrating. Uh, something funny going on over here, isn't there? It's almost like the game thinks I should be able to go over there. Maybe not. No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. It's just odd that that bit of the map isn't properly discovered. Maybe bugged. Maybe. Looks like there might be something over there, but I'm not convinced. Uh, worth a look though. Uh, which way are we going? Fastest way is through here, isn't it? I saw some green for a second, some bright green, and it was just a plant that some of the sunlight was hitting. Right, let's reposition this. Nope, not quite. Oh, maybe that is right, because it keeps correcting itself. Hmm. Yep. Oh, that's what I was saying. Indeed, that does just... Just mysteriously disappear off into the ocean, doesn't it? That reminds me a bit of Riven. For, uh, trying to follow where all the pipes go off into the distance. Uh, but that doesn't look like it's a likely... 
way forwards. I mean, if I have discovered all the map that... I'm currently supposed to have access to, then it would have to be hidden in somewhere I've already been. To state the obvious. Okay, I think I need that nudge. Goodness, it didn't take long to get the first two keys, did it? But this third one has been a lot more challenging. The hint is the box close to the swamp piles. Fair enough. That makes sense, actually. Because I even pointed that out as one of the mysteries I hadn't yet solved, and yet somehow I, I just carried on and ignored it. I'm guessing this is what you're referring to. Um... Yes, indeed. Right, what is this telling me? Obviously, I need to identify the building. There's three rings around it and some sort of rectangular compartment opening, not sure, between the first and second one from the ground. It's also... It's also... slightly wider at the base, but it looks like... Um, it continues underground. The real mystery is this. We'll worry about that shortly. I can't go I can't use that for shortcuts presently, can I? Well it's not that building, fortunately. Not that one. double check it's definitely not that one is it I don't think so no that is discernibly a different shape what about this one nope uh, these ones no Trying to think what other buildings I know about. That was a very good nudge, by the way. Just giving me enough direction to focus my attention where it's needed, but without actually giving very much away. be worth checking from the mechanics again whether there's any buildings 
off in the distance that I hadn't um, particularly noticed up until now. Where am I trying to go? I want to go to the alchemy lab and gardens, don't I? So that's this way. Those are the only other buildings I can think of. Yeah, that's a different shape. I wish that were it. And this is completely different. Nothing over there, is there? Oh, I didn't realise we could go over here. Still no sign. Hmm. Okay, let's head back to the mechanics, I suppose. Um. Since we can get a very good vantage point from there. I like how this game sometimes reuses things but in different ways. I'm guessing that's another hint. Buildings that it's barely in view. I think that's the alchemy lab. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. There's a seam along the floor there. Thing is, I don't think they would have shown me a picture of that tower if it wasn't in any way possible for me to see it yet. Let's head back over here. Uh, that may not be quite connected up. There we go. Because this will also give us a good vantage point. Oh, thank you for the follow. Nauseam. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this, indeed. It's lovely to meet you. Could try to increase the draw distance if it bothers you, unless it tanks your performance, of course. Uh, I th when I was doing the... Um, initial testing and setup for the game before I played, I found that these settings 
really guaranteed that we wouldn't get any frame drops. I could turn them up a fair bit and we would only get frame drops during very busy moments. Um, and it was only really the highest settings that were causing serious slowdowns. But I'm guessing that the developers wouldn't have made the game in such a way that people uh, with less powerful PCs wouldn't be able to complete it. Because there are certainly people with much less powerful PCs than mine. Even if it is a few years old now. Uh, this game is excellent. Glad to see more people play it. Uh, shouldn't be needed though. That's a reference to the draw distance. Evening Nauseam. Welcome. Uh, can I show you the funniest bug in the game? It won't spoil anything. Uh, that would be pretty lame. Um, I mean, if it doesn't take long. Since I am stuck right now. Oh, the lame comment was if you couldn't beat the game on a slower machine. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, go to the forge, then walk into the water on the left side. Go into settings and flip the water quality. Uh, you mean over here? As I look at it, that's my left. Oh, did you mean over here? Uh, I, I'm not aware of a way into the water. Oh. Okay. Settings. Graphics. Uh, water quality. Hmm. Well, that was certainly unexpected. Do I ever come back? I do indeed. Oh, well, thank you for that. That was not at all what I was expecting. How do you even manage that? Because surely the graphics setting should only ever affect the uh, the graphics. For it to bleed into the physics system is very strange. But yes, thank you for sharing that. At low quality, the water becomes solid. Ah. I mean, why though? <laughs> why would that matter? Low quality ice. Oh, I see. Do the, the, do, does it actually portray the water as literally, literally frozen? And so the developers decided um, to also have it... No? I mean, it's flowing. Very strange. So you're in a solid object and the physics shoots you out. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense once you understand that the water becomes solid. What I can understand is why they would have designed it so the water goes solid. But, yeah, it was certainly... Uh, Surprising. Right, unfortunately, I think I may need another nudge. I know I'm, 
I know I've already had one nudge. I've been looking all over for this tower that doesn't seem to exist, so unless one of the buildings can literally raise out of the ground and become that tower, I'm running rather short of ideas. Uh, I would guess a solid, solid water can come into another part of the rendering pipeline, which is more efficient. I suppose? I mean, that would be very specific to how they engineered the engine. Um, you'd have thought it would have been better off if they were going to do that, to have a special pipeline for low quality water, but I suppose that's just what they did and they never thought there'd be a problem. I haven't been watching long enough to give a good hint. The building you're looking for isn't a building. Oh! Oh, hello Jeffras! Lovely to see you this evening, how are you? Also, it's not a building. That's interesting. What could it be then? Hold on, maybe I should take a... I probably already have a note of this, but we'll take another one just in case. One that's nice and close up. That's probably some sort of pillar then. Um, where did I leave the green crystal? Probably in the little telescope. Oh, no worries. Have a lovely look. All the puzzle streaming nerds stick together. You haven't seen the last of me. Goodness. Um, why'd I come here? I came here to check if there was a similar looking structure in this room, but I don't see one. One mechanism I'm particularly thinking of is the machine I used to adjust the recipe. It seemed particularly sophisticated. And of course, we've only used it once. And it would be pillar-like. Of course, all those things don't mean that it necessarily is what we're looking for, but it's worth a look. That's possible, isn't it? Let me find the note. Oh, that's actually a bit closer than I meant it to be. Hold on. Um, wait, I did say I probably had a picture of it earlier on in the journal. Let's look for that before we trek back. There it is. Could this be it? Uh, it's similar, isn't it? But not quite the same, sadly. That's a pity.
Hello, Neurovac. I hope you're well. One last look. I mean, the base does look similar, doesn't it? But every it's everything else that doesn't look similar. Incidentally, what happens if I stick the recipe in again? Oh, I'm not allowed. It's so close, isn't it? Just not quite. No, I don't think that's it. That's a pity. Hmm. Probably something I've used before, I would guess. checked in here, didn't I? If that is supposed to represent the ground and nothing else, then that would imply that whatever it is, is probably outside. What did these look like? Can I reveal them again? I've got a feeling they don't like to come up. Oh, they will. This is looking like it, isn't it? Uh, I bet it's because I had the white torch instead of the orange. That must have made all the difference. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for the help. I think I'd have been there a very long time otherwise. <laughs> And just enough help as well. Right. So, in theory, we should have access to the final key now. 
Uh, again, if you care about achievements, make a separate save here. Okie dokie. I'm not sure I... Um, I will go back for the achievements, but it's good to know. Uh, I have to compliment your chat. They obviously care very much about your game experience and have been perfect at the nudges. They are pretty fantastic, aren't they? Uh, why did that not work? Do these all need to be shifted along by one? Or did I make a mistake? How do I rotate this? To... No, that should work. There we go. So the moment we've been waiting for since we first teleported in here. This is one of my favourite parts of the game. Interesting. So, high expectations, then. Do we finally meet the professor? Has he been hiding up here the whole time? Yay, an empty tower. Yeah. I had a suspicion. Another one of those rugs. It's always the same design, isn't it? The funny thing about this is that, as we discussed previously, it's very unlikely the game devs would have made the game in such a way that you need to have a high rent distance to complete it. So that actually removes a lot of the advantages of being able to get up to such a high point. Which is interesting, it makes you wonder what the benefit is if it's not being able to see very far away. Uh, you could think that if he spent so much time there, why wouldn't he want some variety and more colour? Mr. Science calculated that these are indeed the best carpets. <laughs> yes, that must be it. Oh, I remember this. I remember looking at it before and thinking, does that lower down? Because it looks like either that extends out or something is supposed to attach to it. When we fir first started playing, when I first looked up at that tower, that's something that I noticed. But... Oh, okay. Feel a bit silly now. Although that doesn't actually seem to have done anything obvious. Interesting. These move both ways. Hold on. Oh, they must be acting as some sort of modifier to the button here. Unless the reason it didn't work was because I was standing far enough away. But if that were the case, then you'd expect the button wouldn't have been pressed at all. You know it's a puzzle game, but I'm being surprised that a lever can be reset. Indeed, um, I would say that... Um, in quite a few of the puzzle games, including the Mist games, 
uh, most things were resettable. And I have to say, they did a rather good job of um, having that not becoming cumbersome. But yes, it does seem to be a feature of this of Quern that uh, most actions are not reversible. Okay. I hope this is the good sort of tower sinking into the ground and not the bad sort of tower sinking into the ground. Well, the obvious... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can reverse it. The obvious thing to try now is see if this will take me to some subterranean area. And that'll be why it was reversible. Hey! Loading new area? This is unprecedented. I think this is our first loading screen since we started playing the game. It's the only one in the game. Oh, okay. That's a relief. I was starting to worry that since I'd been talking about all these worlds in the world chains, in the world chain, that uh, perhaps I've only completed one world and I had several dozen other worlds left to do. Oh, wonderful. Oh, have you ever been kidnapped within a kidnapping? 5% of the game done, good job. Exactly. If my kidnappers find out you've kidnapped me. When we discover these tunnels, we hoped to find some rest from the endless noon. We realized we needed a quiet place, hidden from the scorching sunlight, away from the rumbling ocean. A different place where we could at last find the long-awaited change of atmosphere. Where we find balance, not just among ourselves, but harmony within our own bodies and souls. These chambers were our refuges when we couldn't bear the weight of our existence. After staying for hundreds of years in the light, darkness preserved our sanity. I tried to keep this place secret from him, but I had to make a choice. When I saw him losing his mind, he reminded me of us. I felt pity for him. I decided to lead him down here to grant him some relief. Oh, what a mistake it was. Okay, so is this the, their equivalent of sleep in a land without time? They just go to a dark, quiet space. Also, she said they discovered the tunnels here. So that means that these tunnels must predate the Dalmar. Uh, like abduction when the player starts saying it's an impressive big game, then they use the first swapper and go, oh gosh, yes, I remember that moment uh, quite vividly. I haven't played abduction yet. It's quite good. Um, my main criticism of it would be the same criticism I I read in a review of the game before I bought it and that's that towards the end of the game there's some very tedious puzzles where you can figure out the solution quite quickly but it takes a long time to actually implement it um, but yeah aside from that I, I enjoyed it never actually properly finished it because I managed 
to find one of the very, very few ways in that particular puzzle game to actually kill yourself, and I refused to save Scum, so that was the end of my playthrough. Goodness. This, uh, this lock needs an impressive key. That's interesting. Do I need something more powerful even than the white light? Can such a thing exist? Um, only way. Oh, okay. Perhaps there are additional ways to, uh, get yourself, uh, killed then that I wasn't aware of. It's on my list to play, but I spend my time doing other things, like watching people play Quirr. Ooh. Well, there are multiple endings, but those are endings. Some of us were a bit upset when you didn't keep playing after that death, but if that's how you play games, that's fair enough. Ooh, a letter. I do notice the presence of quite a lot of white crystal. Um... Yeah, I suppose I could go back to abduction at some point. Most of these tunnels were carved out by the Dalmarians once. After covering the island with my experiments, I was fascinated by the gigantic space this place offered. I am convinced that she has appeared to you by now. I know her quite well. She will probably try to persuade you to turn against me, if she hasn't yet. She reflects her own past failures onto me. She fears that I will become the monster she once was. Be conscious when she's around. Her innocent purity is just a well-rehearsed disguise. Hmm. Deep calls the deep. Uh, yep, I missed that stream even, so I was thinking where the abduction streams went, since I didn't expect to, f uh, to finish that game in that stream. I did the exact same thing in Mist, um... Mist 5. I managed to get myself stranded right at the end of the game. Which, to be fair, was actually a deliberate choice. Um, because it wasn't clear that there was a better ending. I speculated that a better ending might exist. Ooh. I speculated that a better ending might exist, but I... Uh, couldn't have known that for a fact. Um, so I chose to strand myself in an effort to... Uh, Guarantee that bad things didn't happen rather than gamble on there being a better ending. At least there the decision felt more deliberate. Ooh. One of the key parts is among the components of the solution. One of the key parts is among the components of the solution. Hmm. One of the key parts is in its appropriate place. That is quite the key. Oh, so I can select one from each column? Question mark? One from each column, column or row. Interesting. Uh, we'll have to come back to that. With abduction, it was accidental. Well, yeah. Well, 
It's unfortunate when someone accidentally walks into a bomb. That puzzle kind of reminds me of the Mastermind game. Is it giving me an indication of how much is right and wrong? Oh, I see. Good game, that. Oh, that's why it's telling me the different colours. Oh, I get it now. That's why some of these are orange and some of these are white. One of the key components is among the components of the solution. One of the key parts is in its appropriate place. Does that mean it's correct? What if I put something very different in place? It would still come out all white. I don't get it. So anything I select is white. One of the key parts is among the components of the solution. Multiple solutions, different keys? Possibly. It's just the colours I'm getting here don't really correspond to the descriptions. The descriptions do sound a lot like Mastermind. Um, as, um, as he rightly pointed out, but from what I can see, it's just saying white to whichever num whichever number I've selected and yellow on all remaining positions that could which are possible yeah, you see it, it, it will, it's quite happy for me to put three or four here And there's no feedback at this stage. It's not like with the key out it becomes a puzzle to decipher what the key code is supposed to be. I think I'm missing something there. Let's look at that letter again. No. No diagrams or anything of that ilk. I can't help but notice that there's two keyholes here. I never did figure this out either, did I? Where does this even go? I don't know, do I? If I go back up here, has anything changed? This seems the same as it was before. Oh, hello. 
I didn't notice that before. Uh, best way to keep your locks locked, put another lock on it. Yes. Good point. Ah! This is Mastermind. Oh, I like that. Wait, do I only get so many guesses? That's... Oh, but it has saved what my previous combination was. Okay. I'm game for a... For a, uh, a mastermind session. So, my original guess was... Three, two, four, five... That's actually some nice attention to detail from the developers there. I was just thinking when I got this that I don't know what my uh, previous guess had been, but it, saving the combination like that, very useful. So we have um, one right, two correct but in the wrong position, which is actually pretty good going on our first guess. I think you changed the keypad after you update the key, though. Oh, if that's the case, then it should change now. It has. Blast. Okay, well, that just means I've got one less guess than I'd like. Okay. So, three are correct. One of them's still wrong. I'm not sure it was so many changes. No, you do it indeed appear to be correct. And it did remember. Even though it saved the combination, it, it was a distinct state that the machine was in, because when I put it in this time, it didn't try and change it to its current value. All right. trying to think what's going to be the optimal strategy here because I don't have a lot of guesses. I mean... Not one was in the right position. How many ways are there of positioning four numbers? There is going to be 24 ways. Okay, that's not much help. Um, Let's try changing two of my guesses and seeing what we get. And we'll reverse... Will we? No, we'll keep the first two the same. So we had four and five before, now we'll have one, six. Three, two, one, six. Does that mean it's the same? Yes. Uh, if my math is correct, there should be 360 possible keys to pick from. I think it should be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 possible combinations. So 6 times 3 is 18. 
4 times 5 is 20, so it's 18 times 20, which is 360. So yes, I'd agree with you. So two of the values stayed the same. Two of them changed. But I got the same result. Um... That's not very helpful, is it? That doesn't tell me whether it was the first two that were correct or the... It could be that only one of three and two is correct, or it could be that two of three and two is correct. Alright. Let's try... Well, we've tried every number now. One, six, four, five. Let's try that next. Interesting. So one's in the correct position, so that can't be four or five, so what we know is of one, six, one is exactly correct. What else can we deduce from that? Well, we've gone down from three present but in the wrong place to two present, one in the correct place, one wrong. So of three and two, one was correct but in the wrong place. What else? Is that strictly true? Hold on, when we had 3216, we had 3 correct but in the wrong place. When we had 1645, only 2 were correct, but 1 was in the right place. Hmm. 
one of four and five must be correct because on our first guess three two four five we got three correct so even if three and two were the two correct um i'll, I'll say partially correct and totally correct we had three partially correct um so at least one of four and five um must have been partially correct But when we went for one six four five, we had one exactly correct and one partially correct, which I suppose could have been one of four and five. It couldn't have been both of them though, because then we'd have had an exactly correct on the first guess, 3, 2, 4, 5. So, of 4, 5, 1, partially correct. But we don't know which one yet. That means 3 and 2 must have both also been partially correct. So 3 and 2 both feature in the correct solution. But they were in the wrong position. Which means exactly one of one and six was correct. When we did three, two, one, six. Because if we know three and two must both be exact must both be partially correct, and three, two, one, six had three partially correct, then one of them is one of those two. Only one of those two is partially correct. So three and two are in the final solution. And then one of the digits of one and six is, and one of the digits of four and five is. Is there a digit that we know is wrong? No. I don't think so, not yet. trying to think is there any more information that we have
So we know three and two is in the final solution. We don't know their p position. We know that one of one and six is correct and in the right position. And the other one is just wrong. So what about one, four, three, two. same. No. One. We have two in the correct position. One's exactly correct, two in the correct position. Uh, that's very helpful because we know that three and two both feature in the solution. Is there any possibility that I threw away the one that was exactly correct and that was the six? Yeah, that is possible, and one of the three and the two just happened to land in the right position. Or it could be that the one was exactly correct all along, and the four just isn't correct. Oh, I'm running out of guesses. I need to narrow this down a lot quickly. trying to think of the two possibilities that one is the one that's in the correct position and that three and two and four doesn't feature in the solution or that six was in the correct solution and I just happened to and four is in the solution but in the wrong place and one of three and two just happened to land in the right position which is more likely is there any possibility falls exactly correct? No. Because that means six was wrong before, which would mean that one must have been the one that was in the correct position. So if four is in the solution, then one of three and two is in the correct position. If four is not in the solution, then one is the digit that's in the exact right place. I'm just going to guess that one was correct, was exactly correct, in which case four doesn't feature in the solution.
which means five must. Which would mean that the, f the solution would have to be one and then three, two, and five in some combination. We haven't done two there. So one, five, two, three. One, five, two, three. I've had to make um, an assumption that isn't safe just to be able to reduce the problem space to a point where I feasibly could get it in just two more guesses and if that assumption does turn out to be incorrect then I'm not going to get it in oh my goodness that was lucky I mean I know I was playing the probabilities but um There was still quite a bit of possibility space I hadn't explored. <laughs> Interesting. Let's have a picture of that, shall we? Sure feels good to get it right then, indeed. looking at that. That's not the same combination we have here, is it? Which is fine. I don't know how to open that. Oh, and sorry if I nudged. It was unintentional. It just came to mind when it looked like Mastermind. No, that's alright. Can I put the key back in here now? No, I can't. So this is completely done. Oh, I see. Somehow I failed to notice when I held down ALT before that I could pick that up. So that's probably how I get in here. No. No, I know what this is for. This is for the top lock. Uh, it went the wrong way. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work, because since we can no longer use that machine any anymore, there's no way that I could have uh, recreated this exact combination if I hadn't written it down. So presumably this is what we want. Uh, I'm going to make another one of those unsafe assumptions and say this is closest to the hand and this is farthest from the hand. the actual solution look like? So the last digit must be three, the second one must be two,
So it's something 213. And the something is either a 4 or a 5. Or a 6. No. It can't be 5. So it's either a 4 or a 6. Four, two, one, three. That's assuming that I've assumed correctly that this is closest to the hand and this is farthest. Could of course be the other way around. Oh, yeah. You can see that seems to be the case. Although... It was six, not four. Uh, I don't think it was quite mastermind because you can't have duplicates, I couldn't have 2-2 two, two, for example, and that actually changed the game quite a lot, I found. Wonderful. Hey! Wonderful. What is it? Oh, that probably does the other. The um, other lock that we found, assuming it is a lock. So that is that, presumably. Although I notice there's a component there which isn't on this diagram. Alright, let's hope this works. It does. Uh, how do I get through that? No, I can't use the same thing as before. That's an interesting component, isn't it? It's a sort of intermediate between a lock and a key. It takes a lock and then inserts itself such that a key can be used. very far with that, did we? Don't you have the key in your inventory? Oh, I still have it. Thank you. I thought I'd lost it. Because isn't that the same thing I used? Here. I must have picked it up again. That's why I went back there to try and pick it up but didn't seem to be able because I suppose it wasn't there, it was already in my inventory. Do I still have it? No. I don't think so. Or perhaps I'm getting confused, perhaps it was two items. Interesting. I assume that goes over the circuit here. Oh, thus creating a connection. Oh, maybe now it's deemed used? Note that this metal block is the one you get out of the slide puzzle in the very beginning of the game. Oh, that's incredible attention to detail. I had not noticed that. Oh yeah, the game just gave me this item back. 
Hmm. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the game um, being inconsistent as to whether I get items back. I'm fine with it always giving them back. I'm fine with it always taking them. But when it's inconsistent, it uh, leads to silly little slip-ups. Why would I need a way to summon this lift here if it's already here? Maybe that's just there for um, making the world seem more lived in. That makes sense. Goodness. Underground Square. Do I have a map? Yes, but it's not much use. Interesting. Okay, so I have two choices of direction. There's some nice scenery here. That is! It is very nice. Uh, yeah, most of the underground part is nice. I agree. What am I looking at here and why can't I manipulate it? Why can't I seem to manipulate anything? Is it possible to go back up? Yes. So that raises the possibility that I'm supposed to do something up top before I go down there. Because the strange thing was, I was holding down ALT and nothing was showing up as interactable. Ah. Ah ha ha. Oh, that's going to be a nuisance. Oh, I see. I need to get it underneath. This is interesting. Okay, how many parts are there? Okay, there are at least two parts here that could be the correct one. For now, let's assume it's this one. For no other reason than it keeps things simple for me. If that's the case, then there's what, three bits that it could be here? None of them look all that great. That's the only one that takes it down further though. This is promising. Ah. So there's two ways, at least two ways we could do this. Three, wait. If that's the right one, that can't be. So it has to be one of these two that feeds into it. Right, let's assume it's this way round for now. 
Let's go back to the other guests here, because that brings us more around to the side. Was there a straight bit here? No. Interesting. Oh, I can't move that one. Oh, then this is probably solvable backwards. There's still two possibilities. No, that's not possible, because this provides us no way up from here. So it must be this way round, there's no alternative. If that's the case, then let's turn that round there so I can actually see what I'm doing. It has to go this far, has to go there. Oh, where does it go from there then? How does it get back up? It doesn't. That's confusing. Let me reevaluate. Oh, there's this possibility as well. These two are essentially locked together because of the way that it has to go back up. Is that even a possibility? No. So this must be part of the solution, I'm pretty sure. So the question is how do we get. How many ways can we get power in there? Shift these all round a bit. I still can't see. That's going back down. That's not impossible, but it is inconvenient. Oh my goodness. Then it goes back up. Okay, this is possible then. I think that's it. Oh goodness. I only get one part of it, it would seem. Okie dokie. I uh, don't remember how I solved it. There we go. Bit of progress. Left tunnel. Mustn't forget to look up. Ooh. That looks like quite the drop. Good thing I'm already at the bottom. Hype? Should I be afraid? Okay. Oh, hype about progress. Fair enough. trying to do here.
Oh, these pool things, do they? I'm trying to get the ladders to all turn up there, I think. So there's three pulley systems. Oh, but there's another piece there. Okay, then that's my first priority. Oh, it's all the way over there. I was probably supposed to use all three. Uh, how do I revert it? Uh-oh. That's how I revert it. Uh, how did that get there? Wonderful. So I now have another large weight. Right, following this along. Nope, not what I meant to do. Back down, please. Right, following this along. Is there another intermediate stage? No. So now I just want to get everything together. Well, I would assume, based on the distances, that this one does need a large weight. Is that a sort of medium weight? That might do it. Let's test. Yes. That'll do it. <laughs> now it's when the game turns into doom. Uh, right. So that one will be in position. Oh, that is an intermediate. Oh, I missed it somehow. In which case I've changed my mind. We probably want the small one here. Uh, we need the top one out the way. This one needs to come all the way round. So the really heavy one's probably this one. Let's try that. Nope. Oh, that wasn't the really small one. So that's what I think it should have been. Yes. And then the final one, we just put the heavy weight here so that we get the other ladder out of the way. Our game. I think that's between the smallest and the next size up, so now we have four sizes. Goodness. Indeed. Right. This one... Didn't we establish which weight that one needed? I've forgotten, though. Did this one need the large weight? I think so. Yeah, that's this one. Let's test that quickly. Since it's been a while. No, it must have been the second. Second largest. Uh, wrong one. That one. Good. Now what's next? 
this one needs to come all the way round. I might do that last actually. I reckon that's the second smallest for the top one there. Which means it's probably both of the remainder to bring the middle one all the way around because that's a long way. Yes! Super easy puzzle for being this far into the game. Well, it was a nice reprieve. Corridor A B C Oh surprisingly easy, not super easy. Now this could be trickier. Uh green crystal you say? That's a point. How could the game developers know I hadn't left the green crystal behind? They couldn't. this is doing. I understand obviously that it is eight possible positions and presumably there's as many as these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. As there are nodes between? No, there should only be four. One, two, three, oh, uh, somehow I, apparently I'm enumerate. There's four. Um, so yes. Uh, right, how does this work? I suppose the quest, I suppose I can figure it differently depending upon whether I want to go to B or C. So supposing I wanted to go to B. Do I have it points, this one points straight up and then it works? Easy mistake to make sometimes. No? Uh, I'm assuming up, because this is the upside of the diagram, and then it's straight through. Unless I'm supposed to be interpret this the other way round. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, these are junctions. Right, right, right. So it either goes 90 degrees down or 90 degrees up. I think I get it. So I want straight up. I think. Sorry, straight through. Like that. So we've gone round there, round there. Then I need to go down background that way I know I was going for B though down there round there then there so let's see I've come in straight now I need to make a 90 degree turn down I have no choice in the matter so this is coming from below and now I should be able to get into B 
Wonderful. If you care about an achievement, close the door in front of the next area again. Oh, not again. You can still go back and do it. Close the door in front of the next area again. Oh, you mean break the circuit? No. This? Oh, I see. Find what is hidden. Three. Oh, thank you for that. While I'm here, I want to find out what's at C. Hold on. Was I at B before? This is C, which goes to E or D. And the that seems to indicate that D is a termination point? Why didn't I end up at B? It's a bit too far to replay the game for that one if you miss it. Um, yeah, what is going on there? Oh, I think I get it. Of course, because there were no more corridors here. This makes sense. The only reason B exists is to show me the map from C. And then there's an E and there's a D. Alright. Uh, I should probably make a copy of this. It will just be quicker. This is actually significantly more complex, I think. When you look at the angles. All right, so next stop C. How do I change this to get there? simply have to... Which way am I going now? I'm going up. So presumably I have to go down? Then I come in and I go straight and diagonal. Then I come in from the top and I go straight down. Which isn't possible. So I have to take 90 degrees here. Uh, which way am I coming in from? I've gone up. Down from the top. And now I'm coming in. 
straight on and so I take 90 degrees upwards. Right, that should do it. I made a mistake somewhere. Right. So what's the path? Was it up? No, it was down and then straight, diagonal. In, down, up the diagonal. Is it an upwards diagonal? Yes. Then it's a 90 degree turn from the top to the left. Yes, I agree with that. And then I come in straight and then I go up. I don't see why that isn't working. I'm genuinely not sure why that's not working. In and then down. Up along the diagonal. Then we come in straight from the top. And we go to the left. Right, as we look at this diagram. Then we have to take a diagonal from the straight. It's not a diagonal, we have to make a right angle turn. Am I not supposed to have access to C yet? Let's go back to B. Perhaps I missed something at B. So it goes, I suppose I want to go up top this time. Right, too far. That far. Then we go straight. And we continue straight. Then 90 degrees down. Uh, and then 90 degrees straight. So that works. Oof. Oh, this is C. It's the problem that this wasn't connected up. Goodness. Area discovered corridor, underwater corridor. Wow, indeed. 
Oh, and there's that pipe. I assume it's the same one, it might not be. Indeed, it is beautiful. Look at all those bubbles. They must be generating air down here, I suppose. Or would you have to? It's an underground system and it has ventilation to the top. Air's going to want to rise if it's underwater. That would only work if there was a one-way valve allowing air out but water not in. But if you had such a valve, I wonder if that would actually act as a passive ventilator. If the air would tend to... The air would float out, that would lower the pressure underground, which would then pour, pour, um, pull more air in from the outside. That said, I've got a feeling... No, that might work. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, where were we? Ooh. That's presumably our target. Is it new music now even? It is! We're so privileged. What does that do? Fancy. Right, looking at the time, I should probably stop there. Which means I'll be continuing this on Monday. So yes, next streams, oh, yeah, um, next streams, Monday from 4 o'clock British Summer Time, next Friday, 4 o'clock British Summer Time, and next Saturday, I'll be continuing with Quern, I don't know how much more there is left, I get the feeling we're getting towards the end of the game, uh, and I don't have another game planned for afterwards, so, uh, We'll have to see about that. Uh, one thing I did forget to announce. Hold on, I have someone new to thank. So thank you, Nauseam, for the follow. I do appreciate it. Uh, you can maybe finish next time. Oh, okay. The maybe is the thing I find most interesting about that, because there's not many letters left in the game, which suggests that the end game is either quite hard or um, quite long. What was I thinking? One thing I forgot to announce at the end of yesterday's stream is that because I've become an affiliate, I'm not allowed to upload videos within 24 hours of the end of a stream, which means that I will be... There will be more of a delay before videos turn up on my uh, YouTube channel. But I only use that as a archive anyway of my streams. And you could always watch this, any past streams on Twitch until then. So I uh, don't imagine that's going to cause any problems. Uh, big thank you to my subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Uh, is there anybody I should be raiding? Uh, 
I uh, haven't raided Squirtle in a long time. Seems to be doing some Pokemon. Uh, let me just... Bring up his stream myself so I can see what's going on. So yeah, I think we'll raid Squirtle. Um, oh right, that was not for everyone, but just affiliates. Was thinking about that when you uploaded quickly. Uh, yeah, until you're an affiliate, you don't actually have an agreement um, that says that you won't upload within 24 hours, but now I do. Anywho, uh, yeah, let's raid Squirtle. Thank you for coming, everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Good night. Uh, it takes a few seconds for the raid to kick in, doesn't it? So I'll just start the credits and then uh, do the raid. <laughs>